Hello folks, this is 2019, uh, February, March session, paper 1-2, and the question number 38. So I thought that uh, I had done it, but uh, uh, when I checked in uh, the list of videos in YouTube, on YouTube, so I uh, I found that I had, mi I had missed this. So let's do it. So this uh, 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 problem has, the circuit shown, circuit shown, consists of two resistors of resistances 10 kilo ohm and 50 kilo ohm, they are in series, and a component Y. So this component Y is... Uh, Parallel to the uh, parallel to this resistance, uh, 50 kilo ohm. A six volt supply is provided. So this is the six volt supply. I can just uh, visualize it as a source here, a source here, which is of six volt. So it is six volt source. The electric potential of the bottom wire is zero volt. So it is at zero volt. As we uh, always uh, know that uh, we con we consider one is at the one active is at higher volt and the other is at zero. The current in component Y is negligible. So when we have such arrangement, the current here is, the current here is I1 is nearly equal to zero. I1 is nearly equal to zero. So with that data, we have to find the value of electric potential at junction X. So we have to find this uh, PD here and then the potential here. So if this uh, I1 is uh, equal to zero, what it means that there is a break here. There is a break or there is an open circuit here. There is an open circuit, so this uh, thing resembles somewhat like this. So we have got uh, this uh, 10 ohm kilo ohm here. Then we have got this uh, 50 kilo ohm here. So we have got uh, this wire here. Yes. So this wire is just just open. This wire is just open. It means just open. So that means the resistance here is infinite. I1 zero means resistance here is infinite. So that's why the total R here will be equal to the total R. So R2 will be equal to, R2 will be equal to, uh, so let's say, so it is 1 by R2 should be equal to 1 by 50 plus 1 by infinity. 1 by infinity is 0, so that's why 1 by R2 is equal to 1 by 50. That means R2 is equal to 50 kilo ohm. So this whole resistance is 50 kilo ohm because this is infinite. This is infinite. So now, uh, according to the voltage divider theorem, we will have this V2 is equal to R2 by R1 plus R2 into this E uh, is equal to 50 by 50 plus 10 into 6. So it should be equal to uh, 50 by this is 60, 50 by 60, 0, 0. So 6, 6 gone. So it should be 5 volt. So the P choice number D, choice number D here.